Good afternoon from College Park. It is National Signing Day. I am Wayne Viner with Red Turtle Productions and I am Luke Jackson with Press Box. So, you impressed with the recruiting hall for the Maryland football team today? Sure. How can you not be? It's the second straight year of a top 20 class. Uh, that's the first time I can remember that happening in the last 20, uh, excuse me, ever. 10 to 15 years at least. I'm going with ever. Um, I know there was a time in the mid-2000s, around 04, 05, 06, where they put together some really impressive classes back to back to back, but this might be the first time where it was consensus top 20 classes back to back. And they got a lot of things done in this class, and like we were talking about before, most of these kids had been committed for quite a while, some for about a year. Uh, but they ended up addressing some problem areas. They brought in some talent for the front seven, which was sorely needed. Uh, they brought in another quarterback in Tyler DeSue. Uh, I believe he will be here by spring ball. Uh, so you'll have Tyler DeSue, Max Bordenschlager, uh, able to compete with one another in spring ball while the other quarterbacks are still uh, recovering from their uh, injuries that they suffered uh, this past year. Uh, and they were able to bring in some more to depth along the offensive line, uh, especially out of DeMatha and another kid out of uh, St. Francis, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. So they were able to beef up on the offensive line as well. All of those things were needed. They, they are needed. They brought in some big hitting, versatile linebackers, which it's like they went holiday shopping and it worked for DJ. DJ was about as fired up about this mm -hmm. program as I have seen him, especially considering those press conferences at the end of the year. Yeah. This is the DJ that we saw that came here. He's pretty happy. Right. right. Now. I was joking with someone after the press conference. Uh, was DJ happier during this press conference or the one after the Penn State game? <laughs> and oh, yeah. so um, he was. Uh, he was pretty down after the Penn State game. He was pretty down after I would say the Michigan game as well, when they had a fifth-string quarterback, a walk-on quarterback, uh, having to play because everyone else was hurt. Um, and so yeah, he, he was really fired up, as you said, and he went on a few long, like three, four-minute uh, spiels about why he believes in this program and his vision and why kids uh, committed here and why kids should commit here in the future. And he was just talking about not just football and the kind of opportunity opportunities kids can have if they come here. Well, it's like, actually, despite the fact we don't win a lot of football games, it is one of the few schools that's a big city, big football school, and I think as he brings these classes in, this could actually happen here. Now, you need three or four of these. Two right. isn't going to do it, Right. but when you look at a roster of 85 kids and 40 of them uh, right now or so our kids you're clear they're a three star four star a five star when you get that to 85 of 85 right. you're gonna have a much different team right especially depth wise as, as you said uh, and, and we saw that you know when some injuries happened Jesse Annabon went down it wasn't just the quarterbacks but Jesse Annabon down they didn't have any more pass rushers and so you fix that in recruiting uh, and speaking of pass rushers yes uh, <laughs> did you like that yeah that, that that's segue? Good. Right. that wasn't planned by the way right. you've been uh, practicing at all <laughs> um, Byron Coward, a uh, kid from Auburn who uh, played, I think, 14 games at Auburn in the past three years. Uh, I think he's going to be immediately eligible. That's what I it looks like. Yeah, if they might have to sort that through, sort that out, and it looks like he'll have two years of eligibility left, and it's, DJ said they still have to work through that, but it seems like he's going so, to be eligible next year and then the year after. It seems like he's going to be eligible for the 18 season right. and the 19 season. Right. So that's Jordan, you said he was the number three recruit in the country? Yep, according to the it composites. Was, yeah, yep. it was a consensus top ten. Because, right. Yeah, it depends on where you look. But, yeah, this was a really highly thought of kid. And, of course, apparently DJ had a history with him, had recruited him in the past. He had recruited him. Maryland had recruited him. Right. And they desperately need so, talent on the edge. So if you get him at the strong side defensive end, which is where he's supposed to play, and you have Anna Bonham being the sort of stand-up linebacker rush end, you got something instantly. Right. And then you add in some of the kids I was really interested in, it's Austin Fontaine, uh, Evan Gregory. Yep. These are both top, at least top 300s. Right. One's on the offensive line, one's on the defensive line. Maybe they got the kicking problem solved. And then DJ was excited about getting, uh, remind me of the kicker's name. This Joseph Petrino. Thank Joseph, you, there you go, Joseph Petrino. Yep. Uh, he was excited about, uh, excited about getting him as anyone in the class because since Brad Craddock has left, this program has had some issues finding a kicker that can kick the ball through the uprights. And, and this kid apparently can, with, with both either, legs. Both feet. So, <laughs> uh, as down as people were after watching this and knowing that it's going to take 60 or 80 kids and knowing now we're halfway there, so maybe next year you win right. a few more games, six, seven games. 
I don't know where they come from yet. We'll, we'll do all of that, <laughs> I'm sure. And then you go the following year and you go, wow, we got 64 star, five star kids that he recruited. Right. It's going to be harder to yeah. screw this up. It's not impossible, just harder to have a bad team. Here. Right. And you look at the roster going into next year. Uh, I, most of the kids will be DJ's kids that he recruited and that he signed. And there probably will only be 13, 14, 15 kids from the Edsel era uh, because most of those guys have, have either transferred out or or just attrition, graduated. Well, I think a lot of the time when you, you end up with something like 25 freshmen, mm -hmm. 22 sophomores, 18 juniors, and, and about 15, 15 seniors. That's yeah. just how it works. And even though all these guys are highly thought of and they all got into Maryland, Something will happen, somebody will get hurt, somebody will be happy to playing time, and the same thing will happen even though these are DJ's kids. Right, and the best Edsel kids are off to the NFL. Yeah. Between DJ and maybe uh, DJ Moore, and then maybe the two offensive linemen, right. uh, Derwin Gray and Damian Prince. Of course, the, the uh, past two recruiting classes, they'll be able to fill in on, on the offensive line if need be. Because on the offensive line, the past two years, they've really done some nice work, especially locally, getting some talented kids in here. Absolutely. Well, I think that'll about do it for tonight. Uh, we didn't even get to talk about basketball, but today's a football day for right. us, National Signing Day. Now, you mentioned in some parts of the country it's a national holiday. Right, it's a regional holiday down south this yeah. uh, day. And it used to, like you said, it used to be right after the Super Bowl. Uh, but here, you know, National Signing Day just kind of gets lost in the shuffle with but Ravens, Reds. But it was important to us. Right. And that's why we're, we're here. here. We're here. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Wayne Viner. This is Luke Jackson. And uh, this will be our last football show. There, what used to be Tuesday at Bird, now it's it's Wednesday at Maryland Stadium. Right. Uh, until we get to spring football. So we'll see yes. you then. Covering uh, covering the Terps. It's Wayne and Luke. We'll see you soon. Cause you don't even know. I can make your hands. Come